Hello folks and welcome back to Four Corners of the Galley. And on this edition, we're doing a little something special for you. This is the movie reviews, but we're going to take all of the DCEU movies mm -hmm. and give you a little recap review before the big Justice League movie. Rant. Or rant. in his terms, rant. It's a rant. Because <laughs> there is no DCEU guy. There's a joke. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that, but yeah. So we're going to break it all down, give a little insight into how we feel about where the state of the DCEU is at this point, and we're really excited for Justice League. So without further ado, let's roll it on. All right. So this wonderful DCEU, as has been uh, explained, has only been around for a few short years. Three, we're four? Four movies. Four. So four movies, so about five to six years, because yeah. there's been some time in between. Now, don't get us wrong, DC has been around forever. Yeah. DC's been around since before Marvel. DC got into the movie business way before Marvel even got there sniffing the door. I mean, Marvel doesn't really succeed until X-Men, which is 1997. So, yeah. I mean, they were... And at this point, and at that point... The DC had four Superman movies. Uh, they already had four Batman movies, mm -hmm. and they were they were doing just fine. There was yeah. a few little extra small things like Swamp Thing. They did a couple little things on, and then they start to have some other ones there. But the DC's been around forever. Yeah, but it really helped them early on. But once Marvel started turning the wheel, yeah. they had to either up their game and. So far, is it's okay. been okay. It's been okay. Yeah. See, when Marvel came around in the 90s, Marvel wasn't cohesive also. Marvel yeah, they was, were. They were sold off to parts. So where they are now is where they were. At mm -hmm. this point, you had the X-Men, which is over at Fox, and they were they came out with their movies first, and those were successful. And then Sony bought Spider-Man, and Sony pulled out their Spider-Man yeah. movies, which is in a different were, universe. Were also very successful. Yeah, also successful. So then the Marvel... Well, let's get a couple more. Then Fox. Or Fox, had, yeah. Had uh, Fantastic Four. They rolled out two of those movies. That was garbage. Yep. And then, you know, Marvel also rolled out... Uh, they rolled out... Um, what am I thinking? They had Blade. But I'm trying to think of something else. Oh, uh, Hulk. I'm sorry, Universal. Yeah. had the Hulk. So they were all split up, just like how the DC started. Where, but DC's always been at Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers has made the different characters. So you had Batman, Superman, Green Lantern got his mm -hmm. own movie. Constantine got his own yep. movie. You know, they really... They just didn't put it together. Yeah. Then go right ahead. Then Marvel decided no more. They said they made is the new the new World Hulk. The no, new, no, they didn't even make the Hulk. They, they, that was incoherent. That but was, it was still part of their overall plan. Yeah, that was mixed in with Universal. They so, came out with Iron Man. They Iron made Man Iron was Man, the first one, and then they established we're here to play. Yeah, made Hulk, made Iron Man two, made Thor, made. Uh, Captain America. Captain America and Avengers. And, and they rolled on, yeah. But enough about Marvel. Marvel yeah. used big characters and got big, but they were the ones that took, finally created a cohesive universe where all these amazing characters and all these different movies all connect mm -hmm. in a certain way and are kind of going to chronological order and really not that much anymore, but going to chronological order. Chronological order. So the DC wanted to keep themselves. And the DC should. The DC is based yeah. off of gods. I yeah. mean, they're gods in comic books. These are gods of people. Outside of, you know, super rich guys like Batman, mm -hmm. of course, they're pretty much gods. So they kicked it off. They went and got the new visionary, Zack Snyder, and they and rolled they, out Man of Steel. Which is a good movie. It's a very good movie. It's a good. It's a it's, very good yeah. movie. But it's a very different take mm -hmm. on Superman. It is a, it's a more in really dissecting Superman and dissecting the person that he is when he comes to America and how he has to hide his powers yeah. and he's this amazing feat but for years and years and years he hit himself way different than the Richard Donner original Superman yeah which is all about I uh, fish out of water yeah. but but hope for yeah. America this is more of a time where it's cell phones and footage and Zack Snyder everybody's afraid yeah Zack Snyder captures this yeah. beautifully done he, it's, the movie's slow, yes. Yes, it's, it's slow. But it's, well, once it picks up the pace, it's good. But the detail that he puts into the movie mm -hmm. is extreme. I mean, Krypton, the, the way he built Krypton and how gorgeous he made it look. The the details of the, the different Kryptonians and the mm -hmm. fighting and the you get to see uh, General Zog. Or, yeah. I mean, just so much greatness that he puts in this movie. Yes, does he maybe go a little deeper and darker than he could? He make very a brooding Henry Cavanaugh look very brooding and yeah. always depressed. Yeah, but overall it's a fantastic movie and a fantastic take on Superman and it's beautifully done. It was a great entry into the into the into the world of the DC and this new connected universe. Now, this one we didn't know was the DC at the yeah, time. Yeah, no, they just made Man of Steel. They just made Man of Steel and it was supposed to get some sequels. Yeah, Man of Steel 2 was actually announced next. Yeah. And then of course, you know, 
in this lovely war, but we don't really call it a war because we love Marvel and DC both, and we we appreciate all of it. I, I Batman is my favorite character, but the Marvel movies are better. But right now, the DC comics destroy the Marvel comics. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's this fun battle that goes back and forth. You can appreciate them both. But Marvel decided to take it up a notch, and they decided to come out with Captain America: Civil War. So of course, DC had to respond, and, can, and, and they gave us party. <laughs> but it was supposed to be big. The because worst movie. One of the worst movies ever. I don't know if it's that bad. It's the bad. edition makes it a lot better. And slower. It does. But he took Batman versus Superman and he really expanded on his brooding dissecting of superheroes. Make it dark. And make, make it, it nonsense. Make it villain dumb. <laughs> it's the Red Alert. <laughs> now one of the maybe one of the bad uh. things that did happen in the DC universe is the greatest thing that could happen to the DC universe, and that was Christopher Nolan got Batman. Yeah. And Christopher Nolan made the grittiest, most complete trilogy of a Batman ever put together. Dark Knight is still, to me, number one comic book movie ever made. One of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. It is so beautifully done. I can put that movie on any point, and it's amazing. Batman Begins was a great entry. The sad timing of the death of Heath Ledger made Dark Knight Rises not what it could have been, but it was good. It was so good. It was very good, but it, you know, it, looked, yeah. it had some stuff that could have been way but better. Unfortunately, that's not part of the DC. That's either. not part of the DC. But directors are inspired. But Zack Snyder was inspired, inspired. by that dark greeniness, and unfortunately he decided to put in characters he didn't need to. Yeah, and he just... And what... The problem that was so badly done in Batman vs. Superman is he took basically... These two amazing comic books. One, which is uh, the Return of the Dark Knight, which yeah. is done by the the late, the great uh, freaking George uh, um, Frank Miller. I'm sorry, George, yeah. George Miller. Frank Miller, who's freaking amazing, take on Batman and this old Batman who's been out the game, who's old, who's retired, has to take on this Kryptonian. Yep. It's such an amazing comic book. You should go out and read it. And then he takes the one of the most biggest moments that ever happened in the '90s, and when I was a kid, one of the biggest moments that happened to me in comic books, which was the death of Superman. Which and then he poops and he, on it all. He put them together, and, and it's just damn it, damn it, yeah. Death Superman was insignificant. Dark Knight Returns was garbage. It all oh, it was. He took dumb. two great or dumb parts of work and mixed them together, and then put the dumbest Martha nonsense you could ever think of. Do say it was a Ninja Turtle? <laughs> along with Finally and over here. <laughs> along with it was all dumb. <laughs> one <Wonder> Woman <laughs> and Superman didn't even talk to each other. <laughs> Lex Luthor was badly done. Wonder Lex Woman was amazing. Wonder Woman was the saving grace of that yeah. movie. So after that movie, we move on to a finally a different person gets a different take. And we get Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad, which is mixed. David Ayer's take, which does really good gritty cop movies, yeah. and you would think he would do good. And Suicide Squad's got a great movie in there. Got a great cast. Got a great cast. The first forty-five minutes of that movie really flow well. It's it's boom 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 boom, and then they just didn't know what to do with themselves. And the Enchantress is absolutely horrible. They ruined so many great opportunities with the Joker and Harley Quinn. And Joker just, didn't even need to be in the movie. Well, he Total. needs to be way more in the movie. He didn't even need to be more in the movie or didn't need to be in the movie. Yeah. yeah, they just... It was really jumbled. It was like two movies put together, really mismatched, and it's kind of showing the the DCEU not being as strong. Just really lost. Yeah. With two... A bad movie and a mixed movie. It's not looking good. And Man of Steel, as much as we enjoyed it, did not come out to rave reviews. Good, yeah. It got good reviews and a lot of us... Obviously, us super nerds who love all this stuff and been reading it, we enjoyed the it. Regular but the public didn't understand this Superman and this Man mm -hmm. of Steel, so it just didn't connect. Then you come out with Batman versus Superman, and that just fell on its ground. You got yeah. this great first weekend because you have these two titans in the game. You got Ben Affleck playing Batman. Yep. Harry Cavill's coming back for a Superman. You're talking about Wonder Woman. You show too much. It does great. It's a horrible movie. It falls apart. Does. Suicide Squad comes out, blows up, does great. Much more uh, lighter tone, but still at the end, it, it does still it gets more reviews. So that happens, and then everyone's waiting till next year for the big one to hit, which has just happened this year, which. Brought it all back Wonder and yep. saving grace. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Amazingly done. Patty Jenkins, Wonder Woman. You can see our review. This movie's phenomenal. This movie is absolutely amazing in all ways. My only gripe, I mean, we're 
way down the line and this movie's on DVD is the ending. The ending is absolutely horrible. Yeah, the ending is... I'm tired of these CG battles at the end. I really... I get they're gods, but they're so stupid. I hate them in the Marvels. I hate them in the DCs. I hate them when they do anything. It's like they gotta go way over the top. This is like right next to X-Men Apocalypse with one of the worst endings ever where you're just doing a bunch of and Suicide Squad trash and fire and flames and two... Uh, uh, just come on. Give me something grounded. Like, mm -hmm. a nice hand-to-hand -hand combat battle is not bad. The stuff before, the battle scenes of one Wonder Woman, oh, Patty was, Jenkins, you destroyed it. Yep. The levity, the humor, she really is embodies Wonder Woman, and you are excited for the DCEU. Yep. Wonder Woman was the same grace. It brought it back. It brought a lot of hopes back. If Wonder Woman did not do good, I think that would have been the end of the story. There would have been, they would have stopped, but luckily, it was a good movie, and it allows it to go on. Now we are in that middle period. We're in this pivotal stage. Yeah. We're at movie number five. Which is their big boy. I mean, this is Justice League. This is the Avengers, but this is not the Avengers. The Avengers wish they could be Justice League. I or mean, this is... In this case, the Justice League, in movie terms... In movie terms, they Justice League wishes, wishes they could be Avengers. Avengers. But in actual terms and what they really are and what matters, the Avengers were like... In comic book world, Avengers are this small and the Justice League is ginormous. Mm -hmm. Superman, Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash. The Flash... Gr Others that haven't others, been announced. Others haven't been announced. <laughs> in this edition, they added Cyborg, mm -hmm. who's actually from Titans, which we don't have a problem with. No, he's, he's part he's of the uh, Justice League later on. And should, we should have Green Lantern. We don't know if he's in the movie or not, but Green Lantern is coming, so there should be a Green Lantern yep. of some sort. So we're beyond excited. I mean, this is this is a humongous movie. We hope that the the steam that's built off of Wonder Woman and the mistakes they made, obviously they, there was some tragedy that happened on this movie. Yeah. The, uh, Zack Snyder had to excuse himself from this movie. And it was finished up by Josh Whedon, who actually did Avengers and Avengers 2. Which so, gives it hope. Well, it does. Are we going to get some of those tones from Avengers? Of course Most not. Most likely. Of course we are. Even if you compare the two trailers, it looks a lot more lighter. Of yes, course. of course. You can definitely see the differences yeah. in the movies. I mean, they completely changed the ending. This was supposed to be a two-part movie. Mm -hmm. It was going to be Justice League 2. So there is definitely going to be some changes. But I feel like there's a good hope for what the future can hold, hopefully, if this movie is as good as we think it's going to be, or it's exciting as we hope it's going to be, I think the DCU is doing good. Wow. All I'm saying is, we hope this Justice League movie is as good as it should be, and we hope that people go out and see it, because we honestly want to see this keep going. We yeah. would love to see different directors move into this world and get to play in this world like Marvel gets to do. The beginning has been a little rough because it's been a Zack Snyder world. And I do appreciate and I like his visual style. But his character development is horrible. His story is... His Watchmen is one of my favorite movies. Watchmen is... A, it's a great... And that's a DC movie. He's amazing for that he movie. He gets a story and a character. He gets it's a very long. It's very... It's 300. I love 300. That's 300 one of his big movies. Really but his visual style doesn't work for everything. Yeah. And there's different things down the pipeline and more fun movies. They've, they actually have announced a Flash called The Flashpoint. That's a huge turning point. Which... So that, I mean, that's just too much to talk about. So there's a lot going on. Hopefully this all gets sorted out and we do get great content because yeah. the only way that Marvel keeps being badass and we keep getting more and more of these movies is for DC to match it. They have to match it for us to keep getting these great movies. Or else people are going to get bored. They're going to get bored and then it all falls apart. Yeah. And that, we don't want that. We're nerding out too hard. <laughs> so basically what we're telling you is go out and see this damn movie. <laughs> no, please. Oh, we hope that you guys... Go out and check it out. Support you don't have to. Movie, Support this movie. May, We're going to go see it this it weekend. It may change everything. It might everything. change everything. We, could, we want it to keep going. It can make it can make the comparison between Marvel and DC very more. Yeah. It can maybe fix their whole upcoming movie schedules. It just... It's, it's a, a mess. It's, it's a mess. Everything banks on this movie, though. They have basically man. stopped on after this movie. Everything is on this movie. If it doesn't do good enough, it's... It's I wouldn't be shocked if everything goes well, crashing. The apart. next thing is after Aquaman. So if this movie doesn't do what it, what they wanted to do number wise, uh, Aquaman will be the last one in the DCU, and they might break back down into their old ways and just give directors a uh, three picture deal where they get to be like Christopher Nolan, where Matt Reeves will make his trilogy about Batman. You have Patty Jenkins mm -hmm. making a Wonder Woman trilogy. Maybe James Wan makes a Aquaman, and oh, they're all separate. Yeah. Which kind of stink. Or it does stink. Yeah, but there you have it. And there's our That's all you break down about the breakdown of DCEU. DCEU. So yeah. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you learned some things and got some good insight out of it. Yeah. Until next time folks, we'd like to thank you. See you next time. Good night, Ted.